now moving on to a section where we have to make three moves. We have to start with x values, use the z-score formula in order to translate them into z-scores. Once we get those z-scores, we need to use the table to translate them into p-values. Once we have those p-values, we need to recognize do we need to do 1 minus, do we need to take larger minus smaller, how do we get to a final probability answer? So the first question, number 8, gives us a mean of 1.3, a standard deviation of 0.14, and asks us what's the probability that x falls between 1.0 and 1.20. To do a between question like this, we need to find z-scores for each. So the z-score, when I'm worried about 1.0, will be 1.00 minus 1.3 divided by 0.14. For 1.20, I'll be doing z equals 1.20 minus 1.3 over 0 0.14. So I get out my calculator to try each of these, making sure I'm doing the subtraction on top before the division. When I do 1 minus 1.3 divided by 0.14, my calculator tells me that's a z-score of negative 2.14. When I do the second one, 1.2, divided, or minus 1.3, divided by 0.14. That gives me a z-score of negative 0.71. So I need to take these two z-scores, look up their associated p-values. On the negative side of my table, the first one, negative 2.14, lines up to a p-value of p equals 0.0162. Second z-score, negative 0 0.71, gets me to a p-value of 0 0.2389. Whenever I'm doing a between question, the final step is I need to take the larger p-value, 0.2389, subtract the smaller p-value, 0 0.0162. When I do that in my calculator, 0 0.2389, minus 0 0.0162 gives me an answer of 0 0.2227. This is the correct final answer to that first question, number eight. Second question asks me greater than, the probability x is greater than 1.37. I again need to start by finding a z-score. I take that 1.37 I'm given, minus 1.3, and divide by the given standard deviation, 0 0.15. When I put this into my calculator, I get 0.466 repeating, so I'm going to call it 0 0.47. I get out my table, this time on the positive side. I go to the row 0 0.4 over the column 0.07, and I get a p-value of 0 0.6808. If this had been a less than sign, I could stop there and just use table value. Because it's greater than, I need to do 1 minus 0 0.6808. That's going to give me 0 0.3192. This is the correct answer for the probability that x is greater than 1.37. For the final problem here, number 10, I'm going to need to do two different z-scores for 1.45 and 1.62. So I'm going to set up 1.45 minus 1.3 over the given standard deviation 0.14. Then I'm going to set up 1.62 minus 1.3 over 0.14. Put them each into my calculator. And I do 1.45. It gives me a z-score of 1.07. When I instead do 1.62, it gives me a z-score of 2.29. Again, once I have the z-scores, I use them with my table, in this case the positive side, to look up the p-values. For 1.07, I get a p-value of 0.8577. For 2.29, I get a p-value of 0 0.9890.
get my final answer, I take larger p-value, 0.9890, minus smaller p-value, 0.8577. When I put that into my calculator, 0 0.9890 minus 0 0.8577 gives me my final answer of 0 0.1313.